Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Come on and share this with everyone you know and you love. Let them know that we are on live, that God has a word for you on today. Hallelujah. And that word is right on time. Somebody say it's right on time. Hallelujah. It's right on time. Hallelujah. That word is for me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to give you a few more minutes to log in and to share as we prepare. Somebody say, God is already speaking. God is already speaking and he's already moving. Hallelujah. Come on and declare that. I need you to be tapped in today like never before. Somebody say, I'm tapped in today like never before. I'm tapped in. I'm tapped in. I hear you, Lord. I hear what you are saying, Lord. I hear you clearly, hallelujah, and I'm doing my part, hallelujah, hallelujah, to run after you fervently, to open up my heart and my mind so that you can flow, Lord, hallelujah, revelation and knowledge flowing freely, uninterrupted, unhindered, unchecked, come on, unblocked, unstopped by any satanic or demonic force, come on, and the word of God is freely flowing to me freely flowing for me and because of that it comes out of my mouth with boldness and confidence so come on you've got to believe this morning that you can speak over your own life you can pattern your own world hallelujah you can plant the heavens into your own life hallelujah in the name of jesus hallelujah we thank all of you for joining us this morning Hallelujah. We thank all of you who have decided to join us on today. Hallelujah. Come on. Yes, we're shifting from glory to glory. Hallelujah. We're moving. We're being transformed. Hallelujah. We're moving and we're shifting. God is positioning us in his divine and perfect will. Hallelujah. We're in his perfect will for our lives. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. It's all about you, Jesus. We give you glory. Hallelujah. 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 We're setting our atmosphere and we're keeping it set. Hallelujah. It's set on you, Lord. It's set on your glory, God. It's set on your purpose. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. We need you to be tapped in today. Tapped into the anointing of God. Tapped into really hearing what thus says the Lord. Every ear that has an ear. Hallelujah. You need to hear what God is saying to you. Hallelujah. What God is speaking to his people, to his church. Hallelujah. So that's what we're doing now. We're positioning ourselves. We're positioning ourselves in a place to hear clearly from the Lord, to receive clearly from the throne. We're walking under an open heaven right now. Come on, we've got to begin to 
be able to tap into the strategies of God, his divine instructions, hallelujah, and begin to implement those things into our lives. Yes, this is our time of prayer, but in our time of prayer, we're declaring what God says the Lord. We're hearing what he's saying, and then we quickly declare what he says over our lives, hallelujah. And so right now, because your word is quick and powerful, hallelujah, Lord, we apply your word to every situation in our lives, hallelujah. We apply your word to sickness and disease, to lack, hallelujah. By your stripes, we are healed, hallelujah. We have life in abundance to the full until it overflows. And so we're lacking nothing, hallelujah. You've given us everything that pertains to the life that you have created for us, that pertains to the life that you created for us to live in your holiness, hallelujah, in the purity of what you created us to be hallelujah somebody say i live a holy life i live a holy life hallelujah i live a holy life i live a holy life hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah come on stay tapped in we come against every distraction hallelujah in the name of jesus hallelujah we thank you lord that your service is uninterrupted hallelujah and it's flowing god hallelujah it's flowing it's flowing freely it's flowing according to your word and according to your will, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We thank you, God. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Every ear is trained to hear. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless you, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on and give him praise. God is speaking. Somebody say, God is already speaking. God is already speaking. God has already spoken. Hallelujah. There's a word. Hallelujah. A fresh rhema word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Go ahead and get excited about the word of God. Lord, we bless you. We condition our minds and our hearts for you, Lord. Hallelujah. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about the kingdom. Hallelujah. We express your glory. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So we love spending time with you, Lord. We love spending time in your word. Hallelujah. We love spending time in your presence. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you pray in your holy heavenly language, hallelujah, begin to release that right now. Hallelujah. Come on, let's seal this. Hallelujah. Let's seal this in a way that cannot be removed, cannot be erased. Hallelujah. Because we know when we speak in our heavenly language, the enemy doesn't know what we're talking about. Hallelujah. And you might be saying, well, I don't speak in a heavenly language. Hallelujah. But we just pray and release. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, and we know that you still have the Holy Spirit on the inside of you. The devil is a lie, hallelujah. We're believing God that he'll, he'll begin to release those utterances to you right now in the service. If you'll just lose control, hallelujah. Lose control and give him control over your life. Say, Lord, touch my mouth, hallelujah. Control my mind and my thoughts that's totally focused on you so that I can speak your language, speak forth your word hallelujah and begin to open up your mouth hallelujah with boldness and confidence hallelujah we come against fear we come against distractions we come against the mind of man and the plans of man we release your glory God your thoughts your intents your purposes hallelujah we thank you Lord that your spirit is moving through every home right now through every recording device, through every TV, every cell phone, every camera, hallelujah, every place, hallelujah, your spirit dwells there, hallelujah, we declare that this morning, hallelujah, we release that this morning, come on, tap in, tap in, I dare you to say I'm tapping, let's flood the comment section, we are together in spirit, I'm tapped in, I'm tapped in, I'm tapped in, Hallelujah. Come on, continue to share this. Share it on your pages. Share it with as many people as you can. There is a word from the Lord. This word, your life depends on this word. You don't want to miss this word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and give them praise. Come on and give them glory. Come on and give them glory. God is releasing his presence. His presence is increasing. Hallelujah. Our sensitivity to the presence of the Lord is increasing right now in the name of Jesus. And so we're running after it. 
Because in his presence is every answer that we need. Come on. In his presence, hallelujah, is the healing that needs to manifest. In his presence is the peace that needs to be released. And not only released, but the peace that remains, the peace that surpasses all understanding. Somebody say undisturbed well-being. Hallelujah. We declare, declare and we release the undisturbed well-being of the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for your strategies, Lord. We thank you for every wisdom that's rising up in us. Come on, somebody say that this morning. The wisdom of God is rising up in me more and more and more. The wisdom of God is rising up in my children. Come on, declare that. It doesn't matter how they're acting. It does not matter what it looks like. You open up your mouth, hallelujah. Be that prophetic voice over your family. Somebody say, I'm taking my family back, hallelujah. My family's on the right track for the kingdom. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Based on the word of God. Hallelujah. We're setting an atmosphere. Somebody say we're setting it. And we're keeping it set. Hallelujah. We're keeping it set. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We're staying connected to the power source. Hallelujah. Somebody say I've been disconnected. Hallelujah. But hallelujah. How many of you know this morning God is here for you? Come on. Let's get reconnected. Hallelujah. Let's get renewed. Hallelujah. Let's get re-energized. Hallelujah. Powerhouses for the Lord. Hallelujah. We're that city that sitteth on the hill that cannot be hidden. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, God, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you that you sealed us with the promise of your Holy Spirit. It's living and breathing. He's living and breathing on the inside of us. Say that this morning. The Holy Spirit is living and breathing on the inside of me. The Holy Spirit is living and breathing on the inside of me. And so the only thing that can come forth out of me is life. And in me is no darkness. In me is no defeat. Hallelujah. In me is no, hallelujah, disappointment. Hallelujah. Why? Because my mind is the mind of Christ. I've taken on his nature. And so I think his thoughts. Hallelujah. And so I have the feelings. Hallelujah. That, 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 that represent joy, peace, love, happiness. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Long suffering. Perseverance. Temperance. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Come on, you better open up your mouth this morning. If you haven't opened up your mouth before, you better open it up this morning. Hallelujah. And give God a praise. Hallelujah. Come on. Will you worship him this morning? Will you worship him this morning? Come on, will you worship him? Just for a few moments this morning. Somebody say, God is working behind the scenes. Yes, God has already worked it out. Hallelujah. He's already made a way, but we've got to get out of the way. We're moving out of the way, Lord, for your glory to fall. Hallelujah. We thank you for the release of your glory, God. And so we're conditioning for the manifestation of your glory, Lord. Come on, right where you are in every home. Defy your natural circumstances, your feelings. What you see in the natural and just begin to lift up your hands right where you are. Lift up your hands. Every hand is lifted. Even if you have to close your eyes, every eye is closed. And say, Lord, I give you glory. Lord, I empty myself as you feel me right now. Come on, you got to deny how you feel right now. Lord, I empty myself so that you can feel me. Feel me, Lord, with your presence. Allow your presence to increase upon my life right now in the name of Jesus. Even before your word comes, Lord, I position myself. I purpose my ears to hear from you today. Hallelujah. I open my heart to only hear and accept what you say. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. We thank you that you've already worked it out. Hallelujah. Lord, this is your service. This is your service, Lord. This is your service, Lord. Tell them, Lord. This is your service, Lord. 
We're flowing with your agenda, Lord. None of us and all of you, Lord. This is your service. Come on and make way for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We're making way for your glory, Lord. We're making way for your glory, Lord. Come on, tell them. We're making way for your glory, Lord. Hallelujah. We're making way for your glory, God. Your presence is increased upon us, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 That's right. Hallelujah. God is working behind the scenes. He's your creative director. Hallelujah. And he's creating every, he's deleting scenes. And he's creating scenes. Hallelujah. He's deleting scenes and he's creating scenes right now as we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's working it out. He's working it out. Somebody say, he's working it out. He's working it out. Come on. He's working it out. He's working it out. He's working it out. He's working it out. Hallelujah. 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 He's deleting scenes. Thank you, Lord, that you're deleting those things that you don't intend for our lives, God. And you're creating the narratives for our lives, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Our atmosphere has been set. Hallelujah. Our minds have been prepared. Every heart is receiving from you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that the enemy has no idea what we're talking about when we're in your presence, God. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, I'm in your presence, Lord. I'm in your presence, Lord. I'm in your presence, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm in your presence, Lord. Hallelujah. Safe in your presence. Safe in your presence. Safe in your presence. Safe in your presence, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, welcome to the kingdom of heaven because yours is the kingdom, ours is the kingdom, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because yours is the glory, God. We express your glory, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The power and the glory forever. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Here I give the Lord a hand. We give you glory, Lord. Morning. We give you glory, Lord. Wherever you are, give the Lord a hand. We give you glory, Lord. Lord. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. We worship your holy name. Your atmosphere has been set. Surrender to you, Jesus. Amen. Because your atmosphere is set. Surrender to you, Jesus. We are ready to enter into the presence of the Lord. We surrender to you, Jesus. We surrender to you, Jesus. Amen. All of you and none of us, oh God. Hallelujah. Somebody lift your hands and say, all of you and none of me, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Welcome to the kingdom of Heaven Church glory, International. Glory, glory. We thank God for you on this morning. Glory, we glory. thank God for, for you making a quality decision glory. to join our service on this morning. Uh, you didn't join our service by mistake. We believe glory, that there glory. is a word from the Lord for you. Glory, glory, a word that will be imparted into your into your soul glory. and grafted forever and grafted into your soul. Make it a mark that will never be erased. So we, we welcome you. If this is your first time, uh, we are so grateful for your presence and we thank God for you and uh, we would like to extend our arms open, wide open to you to, and to, to let you know that we love you and we appreciate you for, for listening to the voice of God that will speak to you and, and, and guiding you on this morning. Feel free to join into our service, clap your hands, lift your hands, give God praise wherever you are. And, those of you are all all, all across the, the the world, across this nation, feel free to 
uh, comment in the comment box to let us know that you are participating. This is a this is a a, 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 a church that participates, like a class participation service. Amen. So join in and let us know. When revelation knowledge hits you. When that word is imparted into you, feel free to comment. We want you to comment. We yes. want to know that yes. you are being trained and yes. equipped to live as ki kingdom citizens on this earth. So we thank God for you from all over the all over the world, the East Coast, the West Coast, all over South Southeast Asia, we uh, Southwest Asia. We thank God for you. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. We thank God for you. Amen. Amen. And so we are here today because the there is a word from the Lord. And as the Lord instructs us, whatever he instructs us to do, that's yes. what we do. We follow the, the leading of the Holy Spirit. He is the he is at the forefront of our lives in this ministry to guide us into all truth and to keep us on a path that will manifest God's glory in yes. our lives and in the lives of every believer. We believe that the Holy Spirit also gives us godly counsel. Uh, to instruct the people of God so that nothing comes to us unawares. Amen. Amen. And so we thank you for that. And we are here to deliver the word of God to you on this morning. Amen. Amen. So as, as we move forward, um, we're not going to be before you long. Just go ahead and declare, Lord, this is your service. Amen. Every service that we enter into from this day, Lord, it is your service. We always say we're moving with the kingdom agenda. We're talking about moving with God's flow, his kingdom and his agenda. Well, today is a perfect example and demonstration of that. Amen. This, our sensitivity to the Holy Spirit has increased. Um, we, we talk about knowing how he speaks and knowing how he moves, Pastor. And so man has an expectation or has always had an expectation of what church service should be like. Amen. And, and as kingdom citizens, we have to know what God wants. We have to begin to move how God intends for us to move. And so what you should be expecting, hallelujah, is a manifestation of God's glory, his presence on such a level that services begin to change. Mm -hmm. Since we are the church, we are to follow after God's, after Christ's nature. And we're to follow after his ways and be controlled by him and no longer controlling the service, but allow the service to control us. So as the church, we have to set our hope and expect God to expect his service, to expect him to move. And that means that we don't accept any other form of God or that claims uh, claims to express who he is. That's in religious ceremonies. That's in uh, uh, programs or the regularly scheduled programs or all these auxiliaries or as we, we will talk about in a few minutes, uh, having a form of godliness without power. It's time for us to activate the power. You said that on Thursday. These forms of godliness without power, just going through the motions, just busy doing nothing. It's time to stop being busy doing nothing. All that has not worked. And so we were shifting into expecting God's presence and his glory to increase like never before. For us to shift into this God kind of life, this God intended life, this what we've been talking about, this heaven on earth. People are tired of just showing up for the same old service. Mm. Amen. We expect God to move. People need results. They need to be taught how to receive these results and not just receive them, but to maintain them, to be consistently flowing in what God has released to them. So we've got to expect God and be ready, hallelujah, to do what he says, no matter how crazy it looks like to anybody else. Right. No matter what any other any other uh, uh, start church is doing, hallelujah, we are the church. We are the body. We're, We're the, the body. And so instead of us just having church, we are to express that. We are to be the church. Yes. And so in being the church is to do exactly what God tells you to do. And that's what we're demonstrating here today. And so this is God's service today. And so God has given us specific, specific instructions for what we are to release to you today. And so you just need to get used to God just giving it to us, giving it to you the way that God gives it to us. Amen. 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 And so. When I think about Elijah, when Elijah prophesied rain, he sent his servant out. Uh, uh, and this is in uh, 
First uh, Kings chapter 18. You can go back and read it. And we'll talk about it some more. Elijah prophesied rain. So he kept sending his servant out to check and see if it had rained or, or if clouds had, had shown up. So finally, the cloud showed up the size of a man's hand. In short, Elijah had to be in tune with the spirit of God. Elijah did not move until he had sensed God's presence forming in the way that he had told him that it would that it would happen so he knew that when the spirit started to move he had to move out quickly you can go back and read the story and so just he didn't right now today when we keep telling you that the that the kingdom of god is forcefully advancing and so god will speak a word and if you don't act on it quickly he moved on to the next move and you've missed him there's there's steps and strategies that god is releasing and processes that you've got to make sure you don't miss out on and so here elijah had to listen to the divine instructions of god and he had to his sensitivity had to be so in in keen and so in tune with what god was saying and then he had to move out quickly somebody said i've got to be ready to move out quickly be ready to move we have got to make sure that we no longer miss God mm -hmm. so that when things happen, we're ready and we're not panicking and we're not uh, in a place where we did not know mm -hmm. and where we were not prepared. Elijah was prepared. Mm -hmm. He was waiting. He positioned himself and he was waiting for the spirit of God to move. He expected the spirit of God. He was conditioning himself for the manifestation of God's glory. Amen. Mm -hmm. And not only just conditioning for when it came, but he knew what to do once it appeared. We can't just keep saying, here comes the glory, here comes the glory, the presence of God, and not be instructed and taught on what to do to maintain it once it appears. How to walk out that glorious life once it appeared. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening here today. Somebody say, God is working behind the scenes. Yes, God is working behind the scenes. And so today, we have accepted God's call. And what God spoke to us today, somebody say today. Today. This morning. As we were preparing for service, he spoke to uh, both Pastor uh, W.G. And, and me that God has called us and he has summoned us into a time of worship, fasting and prayer. Mm -hmm. Say so God has summoned us. He has called us into a time of worship, fasting and prayer. Somebody say it's time. It's time. It's time. And so uh, uh, in during this time, um, we're going to begin to give you more details later. Uh, we'll post it on our, our website and we'll explain it more to you detail on Thursday. We just wanted to introduce to you and, and the present truth right now what God is saying and he is speaking. So uh, 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 just be on the lookout for that during this time. It's going to include, we'll, we'll give you fasting instructions will be our focus. Um, God is also telling us that we need to focus on worship and song and we'll, we'll explain that so you'll understand what's going on with that and all that that includes and encompasses. He'll, uh, uh, we'll share with you the prayer strategies that he has released to us and, 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 and just know that these things are present truth. Amen. So this is nothing that happened on the last fast or in the last uh, a year or in the old messages. Somebody shout present truth. Present truth. God is positioning, conditioning us for his glory, his presence that he's going to begin to release on this earth. We've been saying on earth just as it is in heaven but you come in if you know you got to be ready for this yeah. you got to be conditioned god doesn't want to give you something that you're going to just lose or going to be grievous to you amen he won't do that he won't do that and it's, so it's time for you to understand god is releasing more and more clarity in understanding where his presence is concerned we know that his presence represents god himself 
Amen. And so we'll also be doing daily pop up teachings. God told us that we he, he's even summoning us to do things that we haven't done before to do uh, daily pop up teachings on Facebook and Instagram. So make sure that you're following the page so that when it comes up in God's speech, you've got to be able to hear him then and there. So make sure you check your page and that you're following the, uh, the Facebook page and you're following the church. So it will notify you when we're on live because it's not just going to be on Thursday and Sunday. When God speaks as he speaks right then and there, quick and powerful, just like Elijah, we've got to be ready to move. Amen. And you need to be ready to hear because it may be something you need to. It will be something that you need to hear for that day and that very moment in your life. Amen. Amen. And so this 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 we know that worship uh, is what it transports us into this atmosphere of this glory and this presence of God, his presence, strategically worshiping. We, we're, we'll explain this later, strategic worship and the, even the songs that you will uh, 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 decide that you're going to, to, to engulf yourself in that's going to pattern your day and help you uh, stay strengthened throughout the day, amen, that you'll begin to, to purposely and intently and it, just like the, the, the worshipers were skillful, you're going to be skillful in the songs selections that you choose to engulf yourself in to bring you into his presence and then we know that that that, that the fa uh, uh, fasting develops your sensitivity yes it does it, it, it's de it develops the power and invokes the power in the presence of god upon your life is is the fasting is what keeps you connected to the glory mm -hmm. Connected to the to the to the to his presence. This is what's going to keep the intimacy uh, uh, hot mm. <laughs> and glowing, and, and fi the fire of God hot in your life. Consistent, Hallelujah! Somebody yeah. shout uninterrupted when we say uninterrupted flow. Yeah, it's an uninterrupted uh, flow. So this fasting is what is going to break up and 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 to break through and break forth some things in, in your life. Did you hear me? This fasting is is what this fasting that we're about to enter into is going to break up, break through and break forth things in your life. Amen. Why can I, I say that? Because you're going to deny your flesh and your desires for more of God. Amen. And so it's as the and during this time when we're praying. Somebody say praying is for me. Praying is for me. Praying is going to keep you aligned with all of this. What God is saying and what's he saying. Somebody say prayer seals the deal. Prayer seals the deal. Prayer seals the deal. And so this worship, this time of worship, this time of, 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 of fasting and prayer, hallelujah, they're all going to condition us or conditions us for God's glory to manifest in our lives. Amen. It, we're, we're taking more on the nature of Christ. We're increasing more and more to the sensitivity of God to his spirit so that we can know what's going on here in the earth and know what to do hallelujah we'll know what to do we'll know how to act it'll get rid of distractions hallelujah and begin to release instructions more clearly amen and so ultimately what's going to happen is it's going to deaden our natural senses pastor and allow our spiritual senses to increase and come alive yeah that's the key too. I, let me say that again. That's the key. This whole time of worship, fasting, and prayer mm -hmm. is going to deaden our, don't our natural senses need to be with everything that we're faced with in the world right now. You can be overtaken if you're not yes. careful. Your heart can fail you. But during this time, we are purposeful that we are deadening our natural senses and allowing our spiritual senses to mm -hmm. increase and to come alive. Somebody may say, well, we've already in Christ and I've already, the old me is gone. But how many of you know your salvation is not a one-time event? No, it's not. That's this is something we have to renew. And, and Pastor, I'm going to let you come in here. Uh, uh, we have to be renewed daily. Our minds, you've been talking about transformation. Uh -huh. This is a daily walk. And so this is a time we say what God is shifting. We've got to be able to shift where God's he, he, he puts us in certain places in different places and this is where he has us right now Amen. where he is conditioning us for the manifestation of his glory for his presence for his remnant hallelujah to be able to express that that glory mm -hmm. to, to to skillfully and accurately that's the key accurately not a form of godliness no. but operating in accurate power 
mm. of the Lord here on this earth. Amen. Amen. Come on in here, uh, Pastor. Accurate, efficient power. You said a lot. Uh, and I'm just going to go back to where the Spirit is leading me to and, and come back up. So you talked about Elijah, and that was very powerful. Uh, Elijah was in expectation for the move of God, and mm -hmm. he was sending his servant back and forth, Gehazi, to see where the cloud, if there was a cloud in the sky. Mm -hmm. And that cloud was a sign that there was a shift. Somebody say shift. Shift. And, and when he saw the cloud, like you said, Pastor, you have to, the, once the cloud was moving, he knew that because there was a shift taking place, he had to move with the flow of the spirit. Mm -hmm. And so that, that, that confirms one of the things that I'm always saying, when I move, you move just like that. Amen. So when the spirit is moving, we have to move without question, without questionings or doubt. He was confident that when he saw a cloud, the size of a man's hand, uh, uh, that was the sign that there were, the shift was taking place. It was in motion. Yeah. And we have to be in the same position. And 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 and, and this ties into it too. Listen to me carefully. He was in a position where he was standing on his watch post, and he was standing on his watch. What does that mean? He gave his full attention to mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. He brought his body under subjection. I'm saying that because we're talking about what fasting does. Mm -hmm. Paul said, I beat my body and, and, and bring it under subjection. And so what fasting does, and you said this, is it, it, and, and, it, and, it, and it confirms it. It helps us to subdue and suppress mm -hmm. our physical senses that causes us to to have uh, 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 indulgences in the world system and desires and cravings. So we have mm -hmm. to bring mm -hmm. our physical nature under subjection. We have to subdue it or yes. manage it or bring it under control because y'all know sometimes we do get out of hand and get yeah. out of control yeah. and we're not led by the spirit of God. And so with that, we understand and uh, uh, we understand that, okay, as we bring the body under subjection in prayer, Prayer is communing with God. That's where your answers are. That's where it, the deal is sealed. Why? Because in prayer, as you're speaking to God, hallelujah, he speaks back to you. Mm -hmm. And when he speaks to you, he's speaking answers. He's giving direction. He's providing godly counsel and wisdom. And, and now when you receive this wisdom and this counsel and answers, you respond. There's a corresponding action to what you hear. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. And so fasting and prayer brings you into a position to accurately, efficiently hear. Mm -hmm. Hear. He who has an ear, let him hear what thus saith the Lord. Why is this important? This is important because we we need to hear God in order to flow with the spirit of God, in order to step out along with the spirit of God. There are so many times where and you kind of talked about this, that we the spirit of God could be moving and shifting and we'll stay in place because we think we, we know what we're doing and this is where we need to be. And then then we try to step out on what God said past tense. Well, he's already past that point. Mm -hmm. God wants you to be in step, in tune, and in harmony with him. Mm -hmm. And so this is something that you have to understand. Jesus came preaching the gospel of the kingdom. And the gospel of the kingdom presented uh, the, the kingdom of grace. Amen? And so what grace does is it provides the privileges and comforts of heaven for you and I here on the earth. Mm -hmm. And when we move with God and we step out with God, it, we confirm his will for our lives. And not only do we confirm his will, we demonstrate. Y'all know we've been on 2 Corinthians 2 for the longest. We demonstrate his spirit and his power being active in our lives. Mm -hmm. We demonstrate his spirit and his power. I said this on Thursday. The saints rule by the spirit, which is the Holy Spirit, who is ruling in them. Mm -hmm. And so if the Holy Spirit is 
guiding you into all truth. He's ruling on the inside of you. And this is your victory. <laughs> and because he's ruling on the inside of you, he's able to guide you. He's able to instruct you. He's able to counsel you and advise you. He is the one that keeps the fire burning on the inside of you. He is the one that puts you in position to experience heaven manifesting itself on earth in whichever form that is needed, be it provision, mm -hmm. restoration, whatever comfort is that you need, you are, ex are supposed to experience it on earth. Yeah. And so we've been talking about transformation and we know that transformation is the greatest need of every believer. Mm -hmm. And we you said that we, we talked about transformation being the thorough, supernatural, radical mm -hmm. change and, and form and practice and appearance and character in the lives of a believer. Why? Because we are our focus is to take on the image of Christ mm -hmm. as he is. So are we in this world. Mm -hmm. And so when transformation takes place in our lives, we are supernaturally changed. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And so. We've been giving you this because we know that transformation, this is where the Lord has us at, but and we, the transformation positions you for discernment and for grace. Grace is what empowers you. Mm -hmm. Discernment cause, uh, is how we hear God. And discernment, and, and, and when discernment uh, is in, in tune like Elijah, he heard God by what he saw. Mm -hmm. He heard God and he knew that God was moving spiritually. And the natural sign was the side, the cloud, the size of a man's hand. So you have to be in position to discern. And then the grace of God comes upon you or empowers you so that as you step out, he's with you and you are moving out and empowered with his power to get the job done. Mm -hmm. So that's what transformation takes place. But we said this only occurs by through knowledge and understanding with the guidance of the Holy Spirit. So you, many people have knowledge and understanding, but they're not being guided by the Holy Spirit. And that's, that's what it takes us to where we are right now, what the Lord has shown us on today. Amen. Concerning uh, the fast and where we're going. So go with us quickly to 2 Timothy chapter 3. 2 Tim Timothy chapter 3. Hallelujah. This is the scripture. 2 Timothy chapter 3. Is the scripture that will um, that's going to serve to guide us in this time of fasting? Amen. Amen. Second Timothy chapter three, and we're almost done. Mm -hmm. um, and the the focus will be uh, verse seven, but we're gonna it's gonna be uh, it's verse one through seven, but your focus will be verse seven. So. We wanted to kind of go ahead and give you some information so you can go ahead and meditate on it. So, Because how many of you know, just as God speaks to us, he also speaks to you. Amen. Amen. And so, um, do you want me to read it from the Amplified or the King James Version? Let's start with the uh, King James Version. Okay. King James, uh, 2 Timoth Timothy 3, 1 through 7. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heedy, high minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with divers lust, ever learning and never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. Wow. And the Amplified reads, but understand this, that in the last days will come set in perilous times of great stress and trouble, hard to deal with and hard to bear. For people will be lovers of self and utterly self-centered, lovers of money, aroused by an inordinate, greedy desire for wealth, proud, arrogant, contemptuous boasters. They will be abusive, blasphemous, scoffing, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, and profane. Wow. 
They will be with, without natural human affection, callous, inhuman, relentless, admitting of no truths or appeasement. They will be slanderers, false accusers, troublemakers, intemperate, and loose in morals and conduct, uncontrolled and fierce, haters of good. They will be treacherous, betrayers, rash and inflated with self-conceit. They will be lovers of sensual pleasures and vain amusements more than and rather than lovers of God. For although they hold a form of piety, true religion, they deny and reject and strangers to the power of their of it. Belies the genuineness of their profession. Avoid all such people. Turn away from them. For among them are those who worm their way into homes and captivate silly and weak nature and spiritually dwarfed women loaded down with the burden of their sins and easily swayed and led away by various evil desires and seductive impulses. These weak women will listen to anybody who will teach them. They are forever inquiring and getting information, but are never able to arrive at a recognition and a knowledge of the truth. Wow. Wow. So <laughs> I know this is not your, your normal, let's fast, let's pray, let's worship, let's go before God. But God is saying this is what he desires. This is the scripture that's going to guide our time of fasting and uh, uh, worship, fasting and prayer. It's a time of worship, fasting and prayer. And so with this, that's why I'm telling you, we're telling you that you've got to be tuned in. You've got to stay tapped in and you've got to make sure you follow the page and you've got to check it and, and, and make sure you get these pop up um, short uh, uh, revelations and rhema that God releases to us because we're going to walk through the glory together. We're going to walk through conditioning ourselves for the manifestation of God's glory together. We're not just going to give you any old information. We're giving it to you. As God gives it to us. Somebody say early edition. Early edition. Early edition. I don't know if some of y'all remember that show that used to come on back in the day and, and the guy would get the newspaper and, and he on the front page of the paper it used to come on on Friday nights. It would tell him what was going to happen and he would go warn the people. Somebody say early edition. Early I said that I, I get the early edition. <laughs> and I'm able to see what's going to manifest before time. Hallelujah. And so this time is also making sure conditioning us for what's to come. Somebody say I'm being conditioned for what's to come. Being conditioned for what's to come. I'm because listen, this is so important. <laughs> because as we're conditioning ourselves for the manifestation of God's glory, of his presence, hallelujah, you've got to recognize and know the importance of God's presence. Mm -hmm. What occurs in God's presence? And I'm not going to preach today. <laughs> You've got to know what, if you know and you understand and you're learned in the things that occur when you stay in the presence of God, when you dwell in the secret place, I mean, you stay there, you make it your home, you make it your habitation. Mm -hmm. Then you pursue these things. Then you condition yourself. Then you make sure that you maintain what you have obtained. Amen. This is powerful. Then this is not grievous. This is not hard. You're not already saying, well, what, I don't know what we won't be able to eat, Lord. Is How long is it going to be? Is it for an hour a day or all day? What what, what, what we going to be able to eat? Well, if that's what you're expecting, then you've got the wrong expectation. God is done with that nonsense. We are focusing in on what he is saying. We're more focused on the spirit realm and we're not focused on these other things that keep us going through that time that we say is fasting, worship, and prayer, but we're more focused on those things and what we're natural working for. Things, natural things. Natural we go into things. it focusing on natural things. God said no more of that. We're focusing on what God is saying. Yes, he'll give us strategy and instruction, but we're not focusing more on the natural than the spiritual. Come on, somebody say it's time to get it right. It's time to get it right. It's, it's time for it to be clear. It's, it is time for it to be clear. And you have to understand this. Even if he says don't eat, it's, eating is natural. It's for the natural body. But that's not your total you, focus. You, you have to remember, it. those things are simply put in place to subdue the natural man. Yes. To, 
bring the natural man, your natural self, under subjection to the Spirit of God. Yes. Because the Spirit of God is the only way through Jesus that we were going to experience the manifestation of the promises. And this is what you got to know. When I, you, you hear us saying this stuff, but I need you to really understand this. When we say that you become the sign, you become the wonder, yes. and you become the miracle. Revealing Jesus. We are saying this because when you become the sign and the wonder and the miracle, you need to understand this. That is a statement that God is making in and through your life. Yes. A sign is a statement from God. Yes. A wonder is a statement from God. Mm -hmm. A miracle is a response that comes from God. Yes. And so the conditioning of it, it and, and, and it is for you. It, we talked about the imprint on the soul. Yeah. It is for it to be engrafted mm -hmm. into your soul. That's what transformation mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. It is the stripping of the old nature and it is the impartation of the new. When you hear the word of God preached, that word is your asset and you receive the asset. Hallelujah. You receive truth. You've got a condition. You've got a condition. You have to condition yourselves and your atmosphere for miracles yes. to manifest, yeah. for signs and wonders to manifest. When you think about making it relevant right now, the Olympics is going on right now. Nobody makes it to the Olympics just saying, oh, I think I'll uh, uh, try out for the Olympics. They've got to be conditioned. And the conditioning does not start the month before. It doesn't even start the year before. Amen. As soon as this, uh, this, this, this uh, Olympic session is over, they go back home already conditioning themselves hallelujah to be the winner to be a champion hallelujah their focus is to champion their the the, the area that they're graced in mm -hmm. that that they're gifted in mm -hmm. so we've got to condition ourselves to champion mm -hmm. jesus here on this earth to Amen. reveal him not just say oh how we love jesus and that we're christians and that we we you know we 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 express his glory but to the point where people see you and they say here comes the glory mm -hmm. you don't have to open up your mouth and say i express jesus i'm a Christian, they 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 identify who you are, and you don't even open your mouth, hallelujah, because you express the glory. That's where we're moving to in this time. That that's when we go into an atmosphere, it changes. Yeah, it changes true. even before we open up yeah. our mouths. We can just lift up our hands and the glory is released. Hallelujah. We can just just blow out our breath, hallelujah. That's and true. the glory is released, and this power is unleashed in this earth. Mm, you preaching. I'm listen. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. This is come this, on. We this, <laughs> we gotta go. This is good, and uh, this is the truth that you're hearing, present truth. And this is, I'm gonna. I want to hit on uh, two points that I want. I want to hit on is in verse five. Uh, three points. Can I hit three points? Come on. So what you read and and what you read in in in, in Second Timothy when you read one through. Four. Mm -hmm. All I all I need you to do is just think about what you see in the world today. Mm -hmm. This is a confirmation of where we are in the world yes, system it is. today. Yes, it is. Everything. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read it, but I want you to think about your surroundings and what you see happening into the world. Mm -hmm. And it's a confirmation of what we are experiencing in this world today. That's what it is. Verse five says this, having a form of godliness, mm -hmm. but denying the power thereof from mm -hmm. such turn away. Mm -hmm. The Amplified says, for although they hold a form of piety, yeah. true religion, they deny and reject, reject and are strangers to the power of it. Their conduct belies the genuineness of their profession. Mm -hmm. Avoid all such people turn away. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm focused on the form of godliness. This is important because when you talk about form in this instance, you're talking about a method. You're talking about a custom. You're talking about a ritual. You're talking about a system. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Something that we practice and it appears to be a form of godliness, mm -hmm. but the form is different from the power. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Are y'all listening to me? And so we're not here in this service speaking to you with a form. Mm -hmm. We're talking about transformation taking place, transforming you into the image of Christ, Mm -hmm. the image of God. Now, when you look at God formed man in Genesis, he shaped man. He molded man. He designed man. He cut man into his image Mm -hmm. and his likeness. Mm -hmm. But that was just a form Mm -hmm. that was created from the dust of the ground. That's good. But man had no power or ability until Until. God breathed into the nostrils of a man. What am I saying to you? You can have a form of godliness, but if the word of God, which is quick or alive and powerful, comes alive on the inside of you, you're just going through a form, a custom, a religion, hallelujah, or you're just taking yourself through the ritual with no power. The word of God has to come alive on the inside of you. But that cannot take place until you uh, you you understand Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. He says to present your body a living sacrifice. sacrifice. So when you present your body a living sacrifice, it takes place through the fasting. It takes place through the worship because Come on. worship is a form of it is a it is, it is a form of sacrifice. Yes, and so when you, when you sacrifice, that says that you give your whole self over to God. Yes, and because you give your whole self over to God, you deny, subdue, suppress, yes. or beat your body yes. under subjection to the Spirit of God. That lives on the inside of you That's when you become the true sacrifice And as the word comes alive in you Not only do you have the form Not only are you radically transformed In character and nature How do you become as he is in this world The next thing is this It says this In verse Seven, ever learning and never able to come into the knowledge of truth. So we've been sharing with you the importance of, 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 of transformation and discernment, the radical life change that takes place in your life. <coughs> discernment is you hearing spiritually from God. Discernment is when transformation is needed for your spiritual senses to come alive. And when your spiritual senses come alive, discernment allows you to hear and see spiritually. But it it can only take place through knowledge and understanding through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit and the Word of God are one, and that is the power source that we rely on. And so here he said, ever learning and never able to come into the knowledge of truth. So there are many people who learn and, 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 and are intellectual with the scripture, but we try they try to use the scripture based on the law. Mm-hmm. But we are in a time of grace. Jesus ushered in the ushered in grace. That's what Jesus did. He is the person of grace who ushered in grace. And we go to that some other time because grace has have multiple dimensions and functions. That's what grace is. And we know one is salvation. But when you you cannot be transformed just because you are learning and quoting a scripture, Mm -hmm. it has to come alive on the inside of you. And when it comes alive on the inside of you, that's when the power is activated. Amen. This is this is this is so good. Um, when you're talking about being transformed and and, and revealing Jesus, um, you're talking about this power. This power. This is what this time is is designed to do to increase God's power in His presence. Mm-hmm. As we said, to deaden natural senses and allow our spiritual senses to increase and to come alive. Mm-hmm. 
And so we're being conditioning for the manifestation of God's glory. Yes, continue, God. continue to focus on that during uh -huh. this time of worship, fasting, and prayer. We're being conditioned for the manifestations of God's Amen. glory, for his presence to increase. And we'll uh -huh. talk about the importance of his presence, what happens in his presence. Uh -huh. Uh, we, we don't we want don't want to go into it all right now because it's, it's several different areas that we could move into. Mm -hmm. Amen. We just wanted to introduce Amen. what God is saying, present truth right now to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then we'll 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 uh, go through it as God gives it to us and release to us the strategies of how he wants it uh, released to you. Mm -hmm. In that same, as we close, in that same uh, scripture in 1 Kings 18, before Elijah went into, uh, uh, there was a whole uh, ordeal that went on before the uh, he began to look for the rain. In that, in uh, verse 21, and we've talked about this before, and this is where we are. Mm -hmm. He said, um, he, he went to the people and said, how long will you hop between two opinions? And so fasting gets you to the place where you're not halted between two opinions. Amen. You are sure and fully persuaded, hallelujah, because you've spent time denying Holy yourself God. and totally depending on him. You become that uninterrupted flow. Amen. And so you're no longer halted between the two opinions. And he asked them if the Lord is God, follow him. And so what this fasting, it causes you to continue to follow after Christ, Amen. despite what's going on in the world. Hallelujah. Because you have conditioned yourself to know uh, uh, in that in, in, in that when I talked about buffeting your body in, in the Olympics, I wanted to give you that scripture. Read this scripture. This is a scripture you don't want to just hold on to during this fast. But this is something that will bless you and continue to strengthen you throughout everything that you'll face in life, any circumstance or difficulty. And this first Corinthians nine, this is one of my favorite scriptures. This is a scripture that has held me up and caused me to continue to be strengthened. Even when times were challenging mm -hmm. and it talks, it makes it relevant. Amen. And so it talks about, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to read it word for word, but it talks about uh, uh, running a race and you and every runner intends to uh, when they intend when they compete, they intend to win that race. But there's only one prize. And God has given us a, a, a prize. He, he, he hasn't expected in for us. And so there's a goal. And we talked about Thursday and a plan that he has for our lives. He's working behind the scenes. And so it says that every athlete goes into training. He conducts himself temperately or he conditions himself. That's what we're doing. We're conditioning ourselves temperately and we're restricting ourselves in all things. Why? They do it to win a wreath that will soon wither, but we receive a crown of eternal blessedness that cannot wither. This is not for just any old prize. <laughs> Amen. And so it says, therefore, do not run uncertainly. We said, have pur be purposeful, yes. be intentful. Hallelujah. Yes. Have a purposeful aim. He says that he does not do it uncertainly. We're intently. God has given us strategy and wisdom and instruction. We're doing this on purpose. It says they do not box like one beating the air and striking without an adversary. So you got to know that the enemy is not going to just lay down and let you do this. Amen. Right. So you've got to hear the voice of God. You've got to move out quickly. You've got to follow his instructions. Mm -hmm. It's verse 27 says, but like a boxer. I buffet my body. That's you denying your flesh, your thoughts. I handle it roughly. It's not going to be easy all the time. Discipline it by hardships and subdue it. If it gets out of order, you put it back in order in place according to the word of God. Mm -hmm. For fear that after proclaiming to others the gospel and things pertaining to it, I myself should become unfit. Somebody say, I'm not going to be unfit. I'm conditioning myself for the manifestations of God's glory. To be able to handle it, to stand the test, to be approved, to not be rejected as a counterfeit. Amen. That goes back to having a form of godliness, yeah. but no power, right. no power to win, no power to excel, no power to maintain, no power to endure. Amen. Amen. And so this is what we're doing. We're sealing the deal. Glory Amen. We're sealing 
the promise. We've been sealed with the promise of the Holy Spirit, but we're sealing it here on this earth. We're allowing the kingdom of heaven to come to the earth. We've identified clearly what's happening in this earth realm. And so we're going to defy our natural super uh, natural circumstances with the supernatural. We're going to defy our natural circumstances, senses, what we hear, touch, smell, taste, and see with the supernatural. Amen. God has summoned and called us to a time of worship, fasting, and prayer. Amen. Amen. So we're sealing the deal. God is good. He is God. And we're following after him. And as we follow after him, we begin to express this glory and not just express it, but be able to maintain a consistent flow, in uninterrupted flow. Amen. amen of of the presence of God that he intended for us to live our life in this glory, even in the garden, as you said, amen. he intended for us to walk in his presence, to be in his presence. Mm -hmm. It's just that where we are now, we live in a fallen realm. Mm -hmm. And so we've got to govern ourselves accordingly. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We've got to know that we're we're in this world, but we're not of this world. Amen. And so we've got to lead and guide our lives based on the world and the realm and the kingdom that's on the inside of us and in the kingdom from which we were created. Amen. Somebody say, I'm conditioning. Come on, if you're in agreement with what the Lord has spoken to us and what he's saying today, I'm conditioning myself for the manifestation of God's glory. I'm, I'm increasing my sensitivity of God's spirit. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah in my life. Hallelujah. I'm getting rid of distractions mm -hmm. and anything that should block and hinder me hearing or seeing. And ultimately, hallelujah, I'm beginning to deaden my natural senses and allow the spiritual senses of, of God to increase and come alive in my life. I'm conditioning myself Amen. purposely Amen. for the manifestation of God's glory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So stay tuned. For the instructions, make sure you go to your Facebook page. I can't stress this enough because they're always making updates. Make sure that you follow the page. Go into the settings and make sure you are following. Make sure your notifications are saying that you get all notifications, all live notifications. So you don't miss what God is saying. The kingdom is quickly, forcefully advancing. And we've got to make sure that we move out quick. Hallelujah. And apply what God is saying and, 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 and make sure that we are tuned into what God is saying. Hallelujah. And so as we close, we're going to pray. We're going to pray a prayer to release us into this time of worship, prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. Uh, before before we pray, um, because we're going to close on that note. If you haven't received Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. This is a great time to uh, get conditioned. <laughs> For the manifestation of what you are about to receive, mm -hmm. for it to flow uninterrupted in your life, for you to receive the instruction that many times people come and don't receive. And so they fall by the wayside or they give up, cave in and quit because they're unlearned and they have no knowledge. But that's not here at the kingdom. This is a safe place to heal, a safe place to learn and to be restored, amen, and to grow. And so if that's you and you want to tap into everything that you've heard today, it's simply you just uh, accepting who Jesus is. Romans 10 and 9. Amen. Confessing with your mouth, believing in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and make a conscious decision to stay tapped in. Amen. To gather yourself around other believers, around at the Kingdom of Heaven Church International. Show up here with us, service after service, amen, so that you can continue to be trained and equipped to win, hallelujah, so that you know who you are. If that's you, just lift up your hands. You've already decided in your heart, so it's already working right now. It's already being released in your life. Amen. Just open up your mouth and agree. With what you just heard, hallelujah. And all those those of you that are in agreement, come on, let's welcome them into the family. Welcome into the kingdom. It doesn't happen tomorrow. It happens right now. Somebody say right now. At the moment that you agree with Jesus and who he is and the, his will for your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Welcome to the kingdom of God. Welcome to the family. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And if you're here today. And you, uh, 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 I'm not going to say if God has moved you to sow into this kingdom, sowers are not moved to sow, sowers sow because they're sowers. Amen. And so you know what to do. You see the cash app, the PayPal, you can mail it into the church. 
Listen, we don't expect to receive a harvest in areas where you have not sown. If you if you want love, you sow love. If, if, if you need help, you sow help. If you need uh, uh, finances, you sow finances. It's a kingdom principle. Mm -hmm. Mix your faith with the word that you just heard. Amen. Step out of your uh, out of yourself. This is a part of denying self. We know that God does not need your money, hallelujah, but it's saying, God, that I trust you enough, yes. and I thank you enough that it is you that causes me to prosper, that I can release it to you. It says that I don't have a fear of running out, hallelujah, but I'm doing this because I know that when I release it, I'll be running over. Somebody shall overflow. Overflow, overflow, overflow. Somebody knows what I'm talking about this morning. Amen. And so just go ahead and begin to sow. Hallelujah. It's a kingdom principle. Complete your worship experience by sowing into the kingdom. Everything that you sow goes back into the kingdom. It duplicates and multiplies and replicates what we do. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God. Every seed is blessed. Hallelujah. Every seed is blessed, already blessed. Every seed is being multiplied right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every sower has seed already coming back into their hands, already back into their lives. Right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because his word is quick and it's powerful. Hallelujah. Sharpen it to an end to a sword. It's alive. Hallelujah. He promised us. Hallelujah. And so, Lord, we thank you and we declare. We expect it, Father. Yes. In the name of Jesus, God. Yes. That will never be lacking. Hallelujah. So or so. Hallelujah. So we thank you that you continue to provide us with seed to sow. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you and we bless you, God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And so we're going to pray now. Go ahead and condition yourselves. Focus yourselves on conditioning. For the manifestations of God's glory, go ahead and, and focus on moving out right now into this area, this 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 experience, hallelujah, of, 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 of worship, prayer, and fasting, this time that God has summoned us to. Continue, go ahead, even before we give you all the instructions, go ahead and set your atmosphere, set your mind and your will for this. You don't have to wait for the details to do it. Go ahead and, and focus purposely and intently on this. Get set. Position yourselves. Because yes. this is set up. Yes. God is setting us up. He's already working behind the scenes. Amen. He's already moving. He's already worked it out. And we're positioning ourselves. Amen. So we're going to we're gonna pray a prayer to release us into this time that we've been summoned and called into this time of worship, prayer, and fasting. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank Praise you, Lord. God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Were you blessed? Hallelujah. Amen. If you're blessed, amen. Just, just lift your hand. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We believe Father, in the we, 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 we come Christ. before you, Lord, as sons and daughters. Thank you, Jesus. We come to you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In total agreement with you. We come, Lord, submitted to your will, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, thank for you, preparing Jesus. us, Lord, spiritually, mentally, and physically, Lord, Jesus. to fulfill what you have summoned us to on this yes, morning. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And as we, Lord, yes, prepare Lord. to enter into this time yes, of worship, fasting, and prayer, Father, thank you, Jesus. we ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you continuously fill us through and through with your presence continuously cause your word and your presence to come alive in us so that your glory might be manifesting in us and through us expressing and demonstrating the greater works yes, Lord. Lord that you have called us to Lord that you have assigned us to Father in this time of fasting Father Grace your people to fulfill their assignments in this earth, Father. Grace your people to transition and, 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 and be elevated into the next dimension of their calling and their assignment on the earth, Father. Father, we welcome your presence. We welcome, yes. Father, Lord, the purging, yes. Father. We welcome, Father, yes. not only the purging, but the restoration, Father, of the life of Christ on the inside of us. We welcome it, Father. 
And we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That will transform the world, Father. Because as we submit to you, Father, where the weak are, we become weak that we may become all things to all men to win them over for the sake of the gospel, Father. We thank you, Lord, that this time of worship, fasting, and prayer, Father, will position us to experience the victory that you've already, hallelujah, accomplished for us. Glory be to God. We declare that we are, from this day forward, we will experience the victory that you've yes, already, God. hallelujah, yes, taken for yes, us. God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God. And we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, that, that, Lord, although the world is in chaos, we will remain yes, in your peace. Yes, 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 Lord. Yes, Jesus. We will remain in your love. And we will remain steadfast. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. And I thank you that your people will transition from glory to glory. Thank you, Jesus. And we submit to you, Father, so that you can make a statement in our lives. We become the sign, the wonder, yes. and the miracle that the world needs to see and the world will Jesus. experience. And we'll give you all the glory, yes, God. all the honor, and all the praise. Thank you, Lord. It's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Jesus. All those in agreement, shout with the voice of triumph. Way. Come on, give say. God glory. Say you made a way. Amen. Come on, lift your hands. I'm not worried about it. Thank you, Jesus. Because he's already made a way. Come on and say that. My God has made a way. My God has made a way. Come on and worship him. I'm not worried about it because he's already made a way. My God has made a way. Come on, somebody this morning, you're not worried about it because you know it's already worked out. Hallelujah. So I'm not worried about it. Come on and say it. Because my God has already made a way. Yeah. My God has made a way. My God has made a way. Yes, he has. So I'm not worried about it. Because he's already made a way. Come on and say it. He's already made a way. Come on and say that. He's already made a way. Hallelujah. So I'm not worried about it. Because my God has already made a way. My God has made a way. Come on, from your heart, tell the Lord, I know you've made a way, yes you have. So I'm not worried about it. Because he's already made a way. He's already made a way. I said he's already made a way. He's already made a way. Yes, he has. He's already made a way. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. My God has made a way. Hallelujah. Lord, I know you made a way. So I'm trusting you, Jesus. I believe you, Jesus. I'm confident in you, Jesus. I'm standing by your word, Jesus. I'm trusting you, Jesus, because I already know you've made a way. 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 Made a way. Yes, you have. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. Already made a way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. I'm not worried about it. Already made a way. He's made a way. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Something inside of you just won't let you quit telling Lord, I know you've made a way. Hallelujah. That's worship. That's worship. Come on. Hallelujah. Lord, I know you've made a way. God, I know you've made a way. Yes, you have. Hallelujah. So I'm not worried about it. Oh, God, I'm not worried about it. Hallelujah. Lord, I know you've made a way. Come on. Let's go, y'all. We got to go. God, I know you've made a way. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank 
you for making a way. God, I thank you for making a way. Yes, you have. You made Father, we give you Always glory. make a way, oh God. We thank you for the gathering of the champions. Ooh. Hallelujah, we thank hallelujah, you, Lord, that hallelujah, hallelujah. We're not glory only to your name, God. Taking on a form you, of Jesus. godliness, but your power we worship will be Jesus. evident in our lives. We worship you, Jesus. We declare that now we over the lives of every we listener in Jesus. Jesus' name. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We now, worship we you, Jesus. Prepare we to leave this Jesus. place, Father. We worship but you, never Jesus. from your presence, Father. We implore your we angels. We love you, Jesus. Give them charge of us to keep us in all of our ways. Protect us from all hurt, harm, and danger. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And we hallelujah, declare that this week will be a hallelujah. week. We of the manifestation and the demonstration of your power. Thank you for your glory, Jesus. Actively working in us and through us. Thank you for your in glory, Jesus. Mighty Jesus. Name. Now to him, we to keep you from falling glory, Jesus. and present you faultless before his glorious presence. Hallelujah. In glory, majesty, dominion, Hallelujah. and power. Now, henceforth, and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We love you. We and thank God for you. Don't forget to share this service. We Amen. You, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We look forward to we seeing you, Lord. on Thursday we for Carries of the Kingdom Holy Bible Night. Study. We worship Amen. Lord. Share, we worship share, Lord. share. Help us we to get the word Lord. out. Establish heaven on earth. We worship you. Transform the world and manifest the kingdom. Amen. We love you. Have a wonderful Sunday. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus.